shop right now, I am making a silk ribbon corset and it's made out of two inch wide linen or ribbon. I was given the pattern from the Senior Draper. This book actually has the pattern. I recently learned that most historical patterns in books allow you to scale the pattern to your size. For a lot of historical clothing, it's actually easier to pattern make rather than drape because modern dress forms don't have that super small waist. so excited to be working on corsets like I feel so lucky I literally love my Sundays I try to keep it clear of any social activities things I need to do this is for whatever I want to do all the things that like kind of refuel me according to this section so far there are three major pattern making principles. First is dart manipulation, second is added fullness, and the third is contouring. And this one focuses on dart manipulation. So what I did was I took my janky front bodice looper I had created a couple of weeks back. This was before 2024. You can check out the video if you want. I made a new one because she was looking kind of sad. According to the best pattern making book ever, a dart can be transferred to any location around the pattern's outline from a designated pivot point. For example, you can have a shoulder dart, center front dart, French dart, etc. So I'm just going to draw the lines onto here so I really understand what the different areas are. They just name it for sake of ease when you're working with other people because when you're mass producing garments, obviously you have to have a standard. slash from the center waist all the way to this dart point right here and then I'm gonna tape it to the waist dart. And as you can see I taped the excess and this shows you using a striped fabric what that dart does so you can see that the stripes are no longer going straight up and down and going towards the side a ways because I think this helps you visualize okay what it does to the garment itself instead of doing a muslin what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this onto paper pattern again I'm going to draw stripe onto the paper I'm going to just see how closing the dart would affect the paper what direction those stripes go in and if you don't have striped fabric if you want to do it in muslin I feel like using a pencil and drawing on stripes is a good way to do it. see how the green line is slanted when you put the dart in the center front waist. Please don't say you love Please don't say you love I hope you can see the difference. Sorry it's taped so much. I also tried making slopers for the center front neck dart as well as the mid shoulder dart. It's diagonals meeting a straight center front. I'm guessing the bigger your dart is, the more it's going to be angled when you close it in. My dart is actually pretty small, so maybe that's why it's a little bit more of a subtle change. Copy this to the other half and it's like straight, 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 and then you have like diagonals. Again, I hope this helps elucidate what you could do with a pattern making book because I remember when I first got this, 
I had no idea where to start. I was so overwhelmed by it. I just ignored it for the longest time. I gained a new, a new level of understanding of thinking about how the placement of darts affects the direction of the green line. This is my absolute favorite combination. I don't know about anyone else, but I like my eggs extra runny. And today I broke the yolk, so it's not doing it for me, but I'm so excited. This is my favorite part about waking up. We ended her visit by watching the play Cleansed. It was definitely a choice. Sarah Kane wrote a pretty intense play with a lot of traumatic things happening to the characters in each scene. I worked on stitching this dress and I learned a ton. This was my first time putting an elastic. There was ruching in the back and elastic in the sleeves. There's elasticized, like, I don't know what it's called, but shearing thread that you can use to just get this effect, but we created channels and we individually pulled each elastic. I'm better at ruffling, guys. I absolutely am not a fan. We clean finished the bodice by attaching a second bodice piece on the inside. Overall, a very cool thing to work on. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.